All good trips have to come to an end. You may be here because you're subscribed every day or you may be here because you wanna see more about Iberostar here in Cancun. We're here to kind of summarize everything up, tell you guys the good and the bad, and most, experience, and most importantly to just experience this one last day here together. It's really sad, but we're gonna enjoy some dinner tonight and some good vibes. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. Let's enjoy Cancun for the very last time. Well, this is one way to say goodbye or last day here in Cancun. I wish you a safe journey home. Housekeeper Diana. Aw, baby, it's our last day. I'm so sad. I know. Well, it's our last kind of like full night and then the morning. So sweet. Mm, so sad. Hey, Bureau Star, we love you. One good thing right off the rip, I have to talk about the room service. The room service was actually pretty good for room service at an all-inclusive resort or just a resort in itself. And another good thing too, the staff. No language barrier, believe it or not, here in Mexico. Most of the staff here in Cancun or just can't in Cancun in general speak English. It really makes me want to learn Spanish, but everybody, the staff has been stellar absolutely amazing they're very outgoing especially here at the coral we spent most of our time here at the coral we weren't really over at the selection too much we do want to venture on over there in this video but uh it has been great and since we're still up here in the room i do have to mention the the hallway if someone's walking by in the hallway i did kind of tend to notice that you could hear them very easily i don't hear anybody to my left or my right just in the hallway noise kind of comes on in a little bit easy when people are, are talking in the hallway. I recommend getting a fan. I have a fan app to sleep at night and it kind of just bleaches out the noise. I feel like most of the cons I am reaching just because I personally have enjoyed my stay so much here. And again, Iberostar Star did invite me out, but in the contract that I signed and when I talk with them, I, I, I want to be 100% honest. The good, the bad, but this has been by far one of the best trips I've ever had. One other thing about the room that I wasn't too fond about, we need more outlets. They have USB ones, but I really like, I, I'd love to see more outlets. Casey has USB, maybe it's just me being a U USB-C user now, um, is a little thrown off by this, but um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm always a fan of a lot of outlets, but our room here on the rooftop on floor 13 was probably the, one of the best rooms I've ever stayed in, obviously because we have that private pool upstairs, Beautiful view, amazing, just hear the ocean. Really enjoyed our stay in this room, at least I did. Also as well, if you're an internet user, my 4K videos, 20 gigabytes uploaded in 10 minutes. The internet here, freaking amazing, amazing. Now one thing to note, I will say, if you get a corner unit here with the rooftop pool, check this out. How incredible is that? What a view, right? What a view. And not to mention the golf course was very beautiful as well. Staff gets a 10 out of 10. I feel like there's some really important things when you're staying at a hotel. Staff, the food, and the cleanliness and up to par of the hotel. And the staff passed with ease. Now believe it or not, as far as the food goes, we haven't really had too much food. So we're gonna go down and have some food right now and then also some dinner tonight. So we'll keep that in mind as we're going throughout the night and kind of give you guys our opinions as the day goes on. You ready to go out? Heck yeah, I am. You ready? I'm ready to go get a little snack. I also put all the pedals on the floor because Casey was sleeping upstairs and I surprised her with this. I will say one thing that we haven't talked about um, because you know everything at All Inclusives is all included. It's free. We haven't talked about tipping. Now tipping, you can kind of do whatever you want. I've got tens, I've got singles, and if someone does a good, a good job, boom, boom, boom. A dollar can go really far here in Cancun and Mexico. Same with $10, so if someone provides a good service, I always have money just available just to say, hey, thanks, appreciate you. Again, the service here is incredible. Because I think a dollar is like 0 0.056 of one peso. Like a dollar is way stronger. That's what I mean by it goes a long way. But with that, let's go find something to eat. Okay, let's go. Where are we gonna go? No, oh, let's go figure it out. It's our last day. I mean, we have gotten a lot to eat, but like not enough to give like a full conclusion, you know? You know, guys, something to note as well, the security has been top notch. I've been seeing like 
people just roam, especially at night, to like make sure everything's okay. Have you seen that too? I have seen that. Yeah, makes you yeah, feel. They just come check to make sure everything's locked. Mm-hmm. This part of Cancun is very like closed and well kept safe. Mm -hmm. Good English, yeah. That was it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We were talking with our drivers, and they said that they um, are not from this part of Mexico, but they have moved here with their families because this is one of the more safe places in Mexico. All of the resorts that we've seen have had very high-end security. So there's guards manning the front entrance, and then there's more guards as you like get through that area. So I feel like wherever you go here, you're going to be safe. Not to mention the margaritas, too. The margaritas are unbelievable here. If you're in doubt, just get a guava margarita. Please. Please, please, please. You'll thank me later. And look at this view. Now, the reason why we really haven't like eaten too much is there's not a full buffet here 24 hours at the coral that's something i wish they had going on because they kind of tend to close it off pretty early and then it turns into a dinner but they do have a nice little coral grab and go thing right over here where you can get like burgers and stuff it looks like the buffet here is already closed which i'd like to see that open pretty much 24 7 that'd be nice but that's wishful thinking but they do have room service 24 seven and you can also go over to the selection. So between both options, you yeah. aren't going to be left hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. But I feel like since you're, you're paying more to stay at the coral, I'd love to see a buffet that's, you know, just right in my hotel where I don't have to wander on over, you know, again, a very far fetched stretch, but just some notes. Confirmed the buffet is closed off. Looks like our only option is going to be the pool bar snacks over here. <laughs> Which tends to get busy. Can yes. We could get a little snack here. And quesadilla? Yes. And then of course a perk of staying at the coral is you get this whole section to ourselves. It's adult only. People staying at the selection cannot come over here. And we kind of get this whole beach to ourselves, which is super duper obviously nice. If you guys have seen our first few vlogs here, you'll know that the coral is pretty much all we spend our time at. That's why we want to head on over to Selection here in a little bit as well. I will say though, this comes fresh, unlike the buffet. It's to order, which is super nice. And again, here's the menu, 11 a.m. to 6. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for the Appreciate food. you. Thanks for the food too. Thank you. Thank hey, you see you there? It's so funny. <laughs> well, here's a look at our nachos. The cheese is as good as it looks. Oh my gosh, yeah. I like that it's kind of like a build your own, you know? Mm-hmm. Cheese is excellent from Wisconsin, I. Mm. And then our quesadillas. The quesadillas were actually bigger the other day. But we got two. Looks like we're over here later in the day too, so I'm thinking that's why. Mm, no, but also they cut it last time. Maybe it actually wasn't smaller. Nachos are good. The chips are different. Chips are really different. But I love the cheese. I do love the cheese. I will say, Casey and I both agreed, the quesadillas are where it's at. Far superior. Those pickled jalapenos are very good. Another example of all the security, you'll just have police just randomly walk on the beaches here. And we just actually had someone come by, see if we wanted to drink as soon as we sat down. Service yeah, is great. Really good service service. is great. Why oh, you look at that? That's actually kind of crazy. Just an AR, holding an AR is walking on the beach. We've got dinner in about four hours, so hopefully we have enough room in our stomachs for then. We're going to do like a, a Japanese place, which is going to be nice. Yeah, I think it's hibachi. I think so too. I might be wrong, but it looks and sounds amazing. I love Japanese food. Now, as we're moving down between the properties, you can obviously tell the age between the selection and the coral. The coral is obviously a modern building and the Ibero Star selection is a little bit older. Still, it's got its all its glory. They actually have one of the biggest beach properties here in basically downtown Cancun. As you can see, like there's people, but there's just so much privacy and that's something that I really do enjoy when I go on these types of vacations. Because our neighboring property, I don't know what it is, but that beach has been flooded all day, every day. Not enough space to really just kind of be by yourself like Ibero Star actually offers. We've only been to two. If I had to pick between Dominican Republic and Cancun, I would definitely pick Cancun. I agree. For sure, nothing against Dominican Republic. Like, I love the Grand. Trust me, I love the Grand. But there's something about Cancun. You can't go wrong with either, truly. I feel like if you want 
more options. Like if you're staying at the Grand and you want to be able to go to all of these different properties and do the Dominican Republic because there were five different levels of yeah. hotels up there. That one was much bigger, much more spread out. I was thinking about that, how like just walking from one point to another took time at the other property. They're both so nice. And like I said, you can't go wrong with either. It just depends on where you want to visit or visit both. Just explore all the Ibero stars. I mean, where else do you get these beautiful birds? Look at these things. I feel like, like they're gonna attack me. I'm gonna run now. We haven't even had the time to explore all the restaurants. because I believe they have like, I want to say 10. Now we're moving on to the selection. And the reason why I brought up the Dominican Republic, because last time I believe when we were at the Grand in the Dominican Republic, they had these types of like canopies at the Grand and now they have it here at the selection. So it's very interesting, like just the differences between each property. We're here in obviously November and it looks like the rain has just been coming in the evenings. If you call this rain, but that's when I feel like if you guys are expecting rain, maybe in the evenings. This is actually kind of like a snack bar and that night it's gonna turn into a restaurant. Right on over here is actually the buffet where they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner right here. All day buffet. They don't have that at the Coral, but it's right over here. It's a nice little walk. It's not too, too far. There are, there are gaps in times though for this buffet. So when they change over to the next meal period, then it will be closed for a couple hours. But this is where you can do three different meals here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there is some rain coming on through, but the only, it's like Florida, it just rains for one or two hours. Yeah. And then it's done. Oh, look at that. They're setting up champagne. Oof. So now you can see where the selection looks just as good. They have luscious grass here. Look at that, that grass. That is some nice grass. That is some nice grass, if you ask me. Lots of seats at the buffet. I'm gonna head on in here real quick because I've actually never been in that building. I wanna go check it out. Kind of a peek inside at what the buffet looks like. It's, it's massive. Buffet's on the other side, but no buffet for us today. They do have that option though. Sit down so are where it's at. I mean, we've only been to one sit down on the first night, which was great. Oh, that we, Italian was so good. We partied in the main selection lobby and it was a good time. That was a good time. That was a good time. It's so crazy because during the day, there really aren't a ton of people in the main lobby. We walked through it earlier and at night, it just becomes like the place to be where everyone goes. The gym is also over here. Gotta go check the gym out. And the 24 hour car coffee bar is here to the left as well. The Star Cafe. I love the smell. I mean, or bar, I believe or over at the Coral is technically 24 seven as well. At least, at least it seems like it. But I mean, every been... time we've been in the lobby, it's been open. So. <laughs> it's been open. To us, it feels 24 seven. Oh my gosh, use the spot. Let's, oh, nice. let's take a gander down here yeah, real quick. Oh, that's oh. Good. The coffee has been amazing. Fun fact for those who are coffee lovers. Let's see if we can go down here for a second. Well, here's the main lobby of the spa. If you're wondering, it smells just like a spa. Pedicures are available. Quick little look at the spa here, and it's a spa for sure. The outside area is beautiful. And a fun fact, if you're staying coral level, you actually can go and use the facilities whenever you want. No need to make an appointment. They said you can just show up and, and use the pools. He said take just advantage of that. Bring your swimming suit and you'll be good to go. They'll let you go into the wet room. You can use the in the men's and the women's waiting areas. They have the saunas. So you can use all of that. Um, and then obviously you can book your own spa appointments if you wish. Because you usually have to pay for that. Pretty much anywhere you go to use the spa facilities. Okay. That's pretty. Kind of reminds me of Alani's spa in that aspect. How nice. Private pool. I don't know what these things are for, but we have have these. And it looks like just across, we also have some uh, steam showers that are kind of like the rainforest on the Disney Dream. We've got some shops here after the Star Cafe. Play some ping pong if you wish. We're also coming up to the gym. Here's to see what the gym looks like. All right, Casey, stop for some jewelry. Can always count on you for that. Yeah. It's the silver. You, you you like gold. I do, but I think silver in Mexico is actually 
more popular. I think that's what our friend from my viewers told us last night. Do you want to be on the camera real quick? Do you want to say hi? We just ran into Miguel again. Thank you so much for last night. Thank you very much for Pablo and nice to meet you. Y'all have excellent and hopefully all your friends and your friendships and all whoever you love once. Um, I recommend you come over here in Cancun, Ever Start. Nice to meet y'all. Y'all have a good time. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. You rock. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. He's so sweet. And he still remembers her name. I know. See, I told you guys, the staff. It's, it's the just staff. like above and beyond. It's, it, they really make you feel at home here and everybody cares. I was saying that I feel like everybody kind of like feels like their job is to do whatever you need here. It's like, if it's a problem, it's their problem. It's not like, oh, I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. Love that, man. Yeah. Side note, it's really hot in here. It is. It really is. hot. Because it's kind of like open, like the doors keep opening. I don't think there's AC pumping. I don't think so. But that's like the one in the Dominican Republic. It was kind of like that outdoor-indoor feel. Speaking of that too, about like the AC in a room, mm -hmm. it only goes down to a certain, certain temperature. You have to call to have it turned down if you wish it to be yeah, colder. Yeah, or up. So there's a certain threshold. And then if you keep the sliding glass door open, then um, the AC stops Turned running. Off. Which right. makes sense, because why would you blast the AC if you're... Sorry guys, sorry guys. We're gonna go yeah. check out the gym real quick. Don't know how many people are gonna be using the gym at this hour, but we'll I find out. We'll find out, it's upstairs. Hello. Hello, actually there's quite a few people using, using the gym. Pretty decent sized gym. Enough equipment to, to do whatever you wish. Whatever you want. The views though from the gym are, are immaculate. It's of the golf course. Speaking of the golf course, doesn't really look like anyone's there. It must be having a slow day today. Freaking love that golf course. Quite a few people actually working out, but we did just discover something really nice. There is also a medical facility that they have here. And when we first checked in, they said if we need any sort of medication, if we get sick, if we need to see a doctor, um, they'll get us the medication we need. We pay for it downstairs at the lobby and then they'll let us know when we can pick it up. So it's easy peasy. You don't have to venture out to the pharmacy yourself. They'll bring it to you here. Leave it to Cancun. Um, apparently it's sunny out now. Didn't even rain. Looked like it was about to storm, but I guess that blew through. Entertainment's right on over there. Hopefully we'll be able to get to do that tonight. I guess there's one at 9.45. There's actually entertainment every night. We've got really cool jungle gyms for kiddos here. It's really cute. They also have the wave of change somewhere over here. Iberia Star is so really like all about the environment and saving coral reefs. I don't know where that is. It's somewhere around here. There's signs throughout the property and they talk about the different initiatives. But same thing with the Dominican Republic. Everything that they use is, you know, or not everything, but they try to use recycled products. All of the shampoo, conditioner, all of that is environmentally friendly. Um, the water bottles here, they're not plastic. They just have reusable ones that you can get and they'll put the purified filtered water in it. So they are making a change in the world. One step at a time. Casey missed her opportunity. One wave at a time. One wave uh, at a time. See, I forgot what I was gonna, I didn't know what to say. We heard we had to try the ice cream. I think I want to get mango or strawberry ice cream. Here's what they all have. Hmm. Well, they have sherbet. They also have churros and waffles, like little mini waffles here. One scoop, strawberry. Look at that giant strawberry. I know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that strawberry pizza was really good. Really refreshing. Much bigger pool over here at the selection. In the infinity pool, saw it at night, but look at that now. Gorgeous. All the way at the end of Iberia Star's property, they actually have sea turtles nests, but there can actually be nests just anywhere throughout here because, you know, turtles lay wherever they want. I don't know how they got them behind these burials, the, like the barriers, but these are sea turtles. They could hatch at any moment.
Yes, baby. Whoa! And we're back at the coral. I haven't turned the camera on in a while, but we're actually gonna head on over to the selection and we're gonna check out some of their rooms. I think three tiers of their rooms real quick to see what they they are and what the difference between the coral versus the selection. So let's walk over real quick. The rain stopped already. It rained for a little bit, again, it goes on and off. So back on to uh, the selection we go. There's a nice little pathway this way. Real quick, let's go check out a standard room. And then two more after this here in the selection. A big thank you to Iberia Star for uh, hooking this up as well. And of course, for inviting us out. All right, here's gonna be a quick tour of a standard room. We're gonna start it out with actually a very nice, lots of space, beautiful bathroom and vanity. Only one sink, we had the, the double and the coral, and they also have a really cool, look at this. Nice coral reef door that leads in to your shower. Talk about that, I like it. It's obviously got the rainfall, nice walk on in shower, beautiful toilet. And we're gonna walk right on in to where you'll sleep. We've got the dresser, and then I believe to the right, these are gonna be two full, maybe potentially queen mattresses. Also, this is going to be an ocean view balcony, standard. Hopefully, most likely you guys will get lucky and get an ocean view, which means it will be a sunrise for you. Very beautiful. Speaking of the view, here is that view. That's where I'm staying, and there's the ocean. Relatively small balcony, but yeah, here is a look at the standard room. Also, here's the, the mini bar refrigerator in there. Comes fully stocked as well. That is nice. Difference in the coffee as well. Drawers and a Samsung TV. Highlights in this room, definitely gonna be the bathroom, and then of course the ocean view balcony. Let's go check out another one. We're on the fourth floor now. We got a Christmas present here. Snowman. This room is something else. It's pretty much the same as the last one, but hold on. This is gonna be a, a room with a balcony. So again, we've got pretty much the same bathroom, same pretty much everything that we just saw. But Casey, do you mind opening up the closet? You have a walk-in closet here. Lots of space. And remember, this is a selection, so this is where Kids can be as well, it's not adult only. So the room actually does feel a little bit bigger than the room we just saw. Way more spacious, but this one's all about the balcony as well as the space because look at this balcony, everybody. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. Check it out. That's where we're staying, the coral. You can see the beach and see where the wedding was the other night. What more could you need, honestly? Big balcony and come here in the morning to see the sunrise and a quick little peek at the room again. It's identical basically to the last one besides the balcony and the walk-in closet. Yeah, full bar in there? Yeah. Casey's just noticing that, but look at this. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Coral, standard, what, what do you need? I do like that balcony. Do you like this one or do you like this one? Comment down below. You know, I will say we actually don't have a light up here. I'd like to see them put a light up here. I don't know why there's not, but hopefully they, I don't know, can somehow do that because it's pretty dark without a light. I don't know, maybe just like mood lighting or something would be nice because with, without, it's kind of scary. Nice aerial shot here of the selection. How beautiful. You know, we, we told you about the food here at the buffet. Might as well go check real quick to see what food they have here for dinner at the buffet. Welcome to the buffet. 
Let's see what they have. We've got a lovely salad bar here. Oh, look at all that shrimp. We have our fruit selection. We have our meats, we have our rice all in this section. Soups, pasta, actually that's just pasta. And then we also have, of course, the star studded pizza. We've got everything to make a charcuterie bar, or bar, a charcuterie board. We've got meats here as well that they cook here in front fresh, which is always a, always a plus. Or if you're impatient like me, you can just get here and grab the ones that are already cooked. Fresh lobster, I just saw them bring this out. Chipotle mayo, assorted of dressings and more and more seafood. <gasps> Shrimps. More seafood here, we've got tuna. Potatoes, beans, more meat. Oh my goodness, look at all these desserts. This one looks great, I don't know what it is, but it looks great. A lot of desserts. Some would say it's a carousel of desserts. There's a lot, there's a lot. Unfortunately, we didn't get to try any of it, but maybe some of you guys will. They also, when you walk in, greeted you with champagne and a flower for the ladies. It was a very nice touch, I was not expecting that at all. To dinner we go. Let's see how this goes. It's time for hibachi. There is a hibachi restaurant here in the selection lobby, just on the, it's not technically the second floor, but it's second level. By the way, this is included. Again, all included. I don't know if we're gonna get like our own private one. I don't know if we're gonna regroup without anybody else, because usually are with hibachi, so we'll see how it goes. Quite possibly, we may. Let's sit right here. Want to go there? I'll go right here. There you go, Case. Accept my rose? Of course I do. We're starting out with some soup, but I had a few bites. It's not my favorite. It's kind of like seafoody. Tried it, just not for me. some mahi mahi apparently i like mahi mahi get this more than shrimp that was a lot of fun oh yes aye, aye, aye. food was good aye, aye, aye. and honestly this i'm telling you guys the service here is incredible it's top notch like they, just, they have so much passion and they're just so happy everyone's happy it's almost i like love they, it like they love to work honestly truly like it I don't know, it doesn't seem fake at all. It's like genuine happiness. So we left early. Well, we didn't leave early. We left because we wanted to try buffet dessert. So we're gonna go yeah. try that. Some of the most different desserts I've ever had. I wouldn't say they're my favorite. They're just different, very different. And back in, we go for the very last time. Well, 
to answer the food question, the food is good. Can oh, it be better? Good. Yes. Could it be worse? Yes. It's good. I was going to say it's really good. It I is good. I really enjoyed that Japanese it was fun. hibachi. That was really fun. That was It was fun. a great experience, and the food was phenomenal. I just can't get over the staff. Like, I'm serious, guys. Yeah. Like, they're, they're superb. Mm-hmm. Superb. Yes. Superb. We've met so many great people here, and I feel like that's what I'm going to miss the most. Is Like, I feel like we've already made connections with these people. Mm-hmm. And they want you to come out too. Yeah. Specifically, Miguel. Shout out to you. Yeah, we love you, Miguel. We love you, Miguel. <laughs> we love you. Um, we're going to wake up here tomorrow, but we have travel today. This was it. Mm-hmm. This was it. We can't wait to come back to that Bureau Star somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed this. And thanks, that Bureau Star. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was an incredible trip. It really was. And thank you, everybody who supports here each and every, every single day. Mm-hmm. Can't do without you guys. Mm-mm. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.